Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is May 28, 2025. You know, there's a big argument between two sides. One says that we have no maximum lifespan ceiling, and the other one says that we do have a maximum lifespan ceiling. But not one of them, not one of them mentions motor units. Not one of them. Imagine that. Let's explain both sides. One side says, I just found a study that the researcher, the doctor, whoever he is, wrote it in red. Here it is on the screen. He said, if centenarians were given the same medical treatment as the younger people, we will easily break the maximum lifespan. Now think about this for a second. And then he talks about rapamycin. And here's the best part. At the end of the study, he states that rapamycin can slow down the rate of aging. It has done it in mice and extended the maximal lifespan. He is straight up lying out of his mouth. Rapamycin never extended the maximal lifespan of anything. Nothing in existence, not even CR, extended the maximal lifespan of a mouse. It extended the median lifespan. But then they go and write in a study that it extended the maximal lifespan. This is what they do. This is the game that these experts play. Okay? Take it how you want it. I'm just exposing the lie. Let's, let's play his game. So basically he's saying if, if we give what, statins? Uh, what are we going to give the centenarians? What kind of treatment that's going to make them break the maximal lifespan? Let me get this right. The centenarian is frail. He has like single digits motor units. He could barely walk. He could barely breathe. His diaphragm. I spoke about the diaphragm before. It's a muscle. Once you lose motor units, and this is what they are ignoring. Once you lose motor units in your body, you can't function. I don't care what kind of satellites you take, what kind of diet you use, I don't care what you do, you cannot bring back lost motor units. Therefore, your body will continue the dysfunction. You're like 5%, if you live long enough to 115, you may have 3% of your motor units left, and those are not the ones that are functioning. Who knows? You might have 1% left that are functioning, that are receiving the signal from your brain to your muscle. The bottom line is this. I don't care what medication you give them. Sir, whoever you are, that you wrote this study and you put it in red like it's supposed to be a big thing, I don't care what treatment you give a centenarian. You're not bringing back those motor units. I don't care if you give them all the rapamycin, all the metformin, Whatever you give them, you cannot stop the loss of motor units, or even if you can't slow them, you're not living past 122. You're not going past 115. If you make it there, you're going to be like a, a, a broken stick. Okay? I don't, you know, that's just how it is. And this is not my theory. There's, well, you know, this is your theory. It's not a theory. You are experiencing the loss of motor units. You're slowing down. Why do you think you're slowing down? And you're going to continue to slow down. That's because your motor units are degenerating. They are disappearing. And there's nothing you can do about it except slow them down. Until science can stop the loss of motor units, there is no stopping, re reversing, nothing. Aging, nothing. It cannot be done. No stem cells, no regenerative medicine, no AI, no longevity escape velocity. Stop it with this. Stop it with this. You're misleading the public. You're spending billions on this nonsense instead of going to the upstream. You're concentrating on the downstream. You need to stop the loss of motor units up top. You don't stop them. Okay, you could argue all you want that we don't have a maximum lifespan. The maximum lifespan, they could, and the ones that they say that we have a maximum lifespan, don't mention motor units. They're talking about other things like your, your genes, they're not right. They're not right because genetics make you live to different ages. Okay? Motor units run out the same. They start to be lost at the same time, and they run out about the same time in everyone. Look, all I'm saying is this. 
We, everyone better wake up. There is no such thing as going to 150 years, 170 years, 200 years. It's not going to happen unless you slow down the loss of these motor units. It's not going to happen. You can't do it. Your body will, your body will disintegrate. But it's, by the time you're 100, you, you're barely moving. 110, you forget about it. You got to be on a chair. You got to be helped. So wake up, everyone. There is a maximal lifespan because of the motor units. They run out. Especially in the diaphragm, where it can no longer contract. Your lungs don't breathe. Your lungs don't breathe on their own. It's the diaphragm, the motor units, the fast motor units, the, all the motor units in your diaphragm disappear. You can no longer breathe. Mr. Longevity Experts, please explain to me. Challenge me. Explain to me how you, oh, I watch my diet. I take these supplements. Go ahead. Show me. Explain to me how you're stopping the loss of motor units. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to keep drilling this in until the world hears about this. Have a great day. Stop wasting money on these biological age tests and all this crap. Take care, everyone.